Rio de Janeiro might actually be the most beautiful city in the world. I mean, look at it. Hanging out on the beach with this backdrop is likely the meaning of life. But can it get even better than this? We made an effort to find out by booking a private helicopter ride and an adrenaline boosted hang gliding experience. But which mode of transportation is best? Helicopter or hang glider? Let's find out. Are you scared? I mean, I am very scared, yeah. The first thing on the menu was the helicopter ride. We took our car from Ipanema to Jacarepaque Airport, which is a 30 to 60 minute drive depending on traffic. I have to say that it's a little bit disappointing that the helicopter is not picking us up in Rio since we have the rooftop. So the helicopter ride is 40 minutes and this is only 100 euros per person. Pretty good deal, I think. So basically, we'll be flying around Rio, seeing the highlight of maybe one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Hallelujah. It was finally time to take off. We were flying in a Robinson R66. What an amazing marvel of machinery. I fell instantly in love. This helicopter was so smooth that I thought it was on wheels. It was like sitting in a 1965 Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Anyway, we were now airborne and ready for sensory overload. Heading east, we crossed the neighborhood of Baja, which is where the rich and famous live. This is also where you should consider enjoying a beautiful coconut on the beach. It didn't take long before we approached the magical postcard views of Rio. I remember seeing the house that I fell in love with right before coming to Rio. From this residential area of luxury mansions, we soon entered the favela of Vidigal. We have an interesting video coming up from here, where we show the life of favela people. Already we were smooth sailing along the coast of Liblon and Ipanema Beach. What a sight to behold. Probably the number one tourist attraction in Rio de Janeiro is visiting Cristo Redentor. It's a symbol of Christianity around the world, as well as a cultural icon. On top of that, it's also voted one of the new seven wonders of the world. Most people only get to see this icon from below. We got to see it from above and I'm confident that this is the way to do it. No long queues or hordes of people with selfie sticks. What an incredible experience it was. So why did they put this huge statue on a mountain overlooking Rio? Well, they probably thought it would look awesome, but it was actually built to celebrate 100 years of independency from Portugal. It measures 38 meters high, including its pedestal, and weighs 635 metric tons. That's 60 tons more than a fully loaded Airbus A380. After two trips around Christ, it was unfortunately time to hit back. At this point, we had been in the air for around 20 minutes, so the trip wasn't 40 minutes as we thought. Needless to say, we were still more than happy and even flabbergasted by this experience. 100 euros for a bucket list experience is a very good deal. On our way back, me and Jung were preparing for our hang gliding adventure. We could even see the takeoff point from our helicopter. It did look a bit scary, to be honest. I loved this heli ride so much that I afterwards immediately was googling how to get a helicopter license and then rob a bank to buy one of these. Thank you very much. Thank you. And on a scale from one to epic, how epic was this? Epic, epic. epic. Were you scared? A little bit. From the heliport, the two courageous Danes were dropped off at the hang gliding meeting point. We will maybe see you later. If not, it was nice knowing you guys. Do I take over? The, I'm not ready yet for video though. Otherwise I can take over your channel, but I have to practice, right? I think you're doing good. You have four years of experience, so I, I do have time. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's one of those. Upon arrival, we immediately drove to the hang gliding takeoff point. The dude driving us was highly effective at scaring the living crap out of us. If you don't run, we have to try to drag you along, okay? And that is dangerous. Obviously, because we're going to be slower, especially him. I cannot drag him along. This guy also turned out to be Jung's hang gliding guide. Have you had any accidents ever? This kind of shit that people stop running it already haven't happened to me. Dude died a hang gliding accident. What an idiot. <laughs> I would lie if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous. Oh, I'm hang gliding, honey. Take a good picture. I'm dead. 
There you go. Strong man. You're gonna make sure I'm, I'm gonna live today. Yo, nice. It's your first time to yes. here? Yes. This is my second time in my life. One, two, two three, three, and go, go, go. Very good. It's like one of those they put on uh, teenage girls uh, to discourage them from getting pregnant. We had asked if we could bring our camera while hang gliding and was told no problem. And then right before takeoff, the dude said we couldn't bring anything. We were told we could bring our camera and valuables, but no. And now we have to leave everything in our car. Everything we own of value. <laughs> That's extremely uncomfortable. Leaving all our expensive camera gear in the car completely ruined our excitement. Anyway, there was nothing we could do about it, so we had to get going. Wind is picking up right now, so we actually need to get going pretty fast. If we don't get going fast, we won't be able to go because the wind is going to be too strong. So I will leave you on behind and uh, that will be it. Ready? Yes. Well, well no, 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 no. Okay, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. And go, 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 go. While Amelie was literally hanging out, I was, well, getting ready. My guide was the opposite of Amelia's. He seemed irritable and just wanted to get it over with. Yeah. You're ready? Yeah. You're gonna follow me? Yeah. Eyes on the horizon. Stand up tall. Takeoff was pretty cool, I must say. For some reason, he was wearing this device that sounded like a stalling airplane. There is no doubt that it is a cool experience to hang glide and even more so in a beautiful setting such as Rio. The length of the trip varies a lot as it depends on the wind. We had good wind conditions so we were in the air for almost 15 minutes. I always thought that hang gliding was an adrenaline rush. But it was actually quite peaceful. You're just hanging there in the air and elegantly being pushed around by the combination of wind and weight displacement. I think it's the closest you can get to fly like a bird, and if that's the case, well, I'll take the helicopter any day of the week. I'm alive! I made it! I'm not dead yet, guys! Now we just have to have Jon come down here live. And then the next concern is if the car actually comes with our luggage because we had to put everything, all our camera gear, our wallet, everything we had to put in the car. Jon! <laughs> How did you feel about it? Ah, good! It was a little scary, but I'm feeling good. In the end, the story did have a happy ending, as we got all our stuff back. What a relief it was. I enjoyed the hang gliding, but it was super hectic and rushed and a little bit of a tourist trap, to be honest. I had a really good guide. He was amazing. He was very, very good at calming me down and helpful, and he let me fly the thingy. and. He was really, really a good person. We paid the same for the hang gliding experience as the helicopter ride. By far the helicopter ride was, was um, the best experience today. Hang gliding, would I do it again? Probably not, um, but it was fun to yeah, try. But... Nah, I don't really, I mean, it's fine. So guys, obrigada por ver o video. Até o próximo vlog. Latest on the menu, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs>